finally, distraction boobs engage. How do you like to be swept off your feet? Ding dong. Yes. Hello, my name is Mia Haig. I have an appointment with Baron Dumas. Good afternoon, my name is here. I'm from Men of Influence magazine. Good afternoon. My name is Mia Haig. I'm from Men of Influence magazine. Men of Influence? What on earth are you doing here? This is the residence of Baron Archibald Dumas, is it not? Yes. Baron Dumas certainly seems to qualify as a man of influence, wouldn't you say? I suppose it would depend on how you choose to define influence. He is the president of Dumas Industrial Enterprises. Ah. He's wealthy. True. He's well respected. Hmm. He's dashing. <coughs> He's debonair. Listen, this is all very educational, but what exactly do you want? I was hoping to profile Baron Dumas for our Perfect Lives series. Each month we cover a different person whose lifestyle and disposition exemplify perfect living. And you wish to include his lordship in this series? Quite. Yes, the idea is to penetrate the myth and get to know the man. His pastimes, his ambitions, his accomplishments, the things that make him tick. I see. He's a model aristocrat. Ah. Someone our readers can look up to. Of course. Will you excuse me for a moment, Miss Haig? I don't think I could forgive myself if I were to let this sublime opportunity pass by. Mm. I will discuss your request with his lordship and return presently with his answer. Oh, goody. Thank you. Please, wait here. I shan't be a moment. Very well. His Lordship has agreed to see you. Wonderful. Excellent. This should be amusing. What do you mean? Nothing. Follow me, please. Miss Haig, sir. Splendid. Show her in. I'll leave you to your interview, Dion. I'll be shopping for the rest of the afternoon. Yes, yes. Have a marvelous time, Chipmunk. Don't call me that. As you wish, my love. Pip, pip. Pip, pip. Jolly good. He's rather larger than I expected. Ah, yes. He's a big bundle of charisma and intelligence. If you're lucky, perhaps he'll regale you with his rousing safari adventures. Good day, Baron Dumont. Goodness, had I known you would be so sumptuous, I might have preened. Care for a drink? No, thank you. It's a little early for me. Well, I'll indulge for us both in that case. I hope you'll pardon me for saying so, but you're a ravishing girl. Simply ravishing. That's very kind of you. I'm sure your wife feels absolutely spoiled by your abundant charm. Oh, she's a lucky old crow, I'll grant you that. Now then, Giles tells me you want to profile me for this magazine of yours. Yeah, men of influence, was it? Yes. Each issue we cover a different person in our Perfect Lives series. Someone whose lifestyle and achievements serve as inspiration for our readers. Jolly good. You've come to the right place. And that will be all, Giles. Actually, sir, I thought it might be worthwhile for me to stay. In case the young lady should desire... Anything at all. Splendid idea. Pip, pip. Yes, sir. I'll be right over here if you require anything, Miss Haig. Thank you. Baron Dumont, do you mind if I record our interview? I'd rather devote my attention to you than to my notepad. And who could blame you? Record away, my dear. Uh, so then, where shall we begin? Hmm. It's Clearly, to the core it of it. a savvy, intelligent individual to succeed in business the way you have. What's your secret? Well, I, uh, suppose it takes a solid appreciation of... Appreciation? Uh, ...the fundamentals of business success. Once you have that, the rest is easy.
Let's indulge him. What's the most heroic thing you ever did on safari? Ah, yeah, a splendid question. Well, I once um, wrestled a lion to the ground nonsense. and strangled it to death with my bare hands. What a nonsense. As I remember now, my porter had injured his leg and was about to be mauled. Dear Lord. Dear Lord, how courageous. <laughs> yes, indeed. Oh, one doesn't really stop to think about these things. One merely acts. It's amazing you didn't come to harm. Yes, well, the Duma lineage is renowned for resourcefulness and fortitude. Quite. I'm Enough sure of a man bragging. of your education is as broadly read as he is charming. What works of literature have you found most influential? Yes. Ah, yes, uh, literature. Uh, one of my favorite subjects. I've always said that to read is to experience the literary uh, uh, wisdom, wisdom of, of Olympus. wise men. Very well said. And who are some of your favorite authors? Hemingway, Melville, Dostoevsky? Precisely. Good guess. Uh, shall we proceed to the next question? What's the most dangerous animal you ever faced? I once squared off against a silverback gorilla. Well, the easy answer a is my wife. Gorilla? Yes, a huge, ferocious, man-eating beast. Man-eating? Quite so. But I was under the impression that gorillas were herbivores and very gentle and less threatened. Well, that's true of some gorillas, but this was yeah, one of the dreaded man-eating gorillas of Pakistan. Oh, snap. I wasn't aware there were gorillas in Pakistan. Well, that's because few lived to tell of them, you see. Well, it's fortunate that you did. Agreed. Silverbacks are by far the most dangerous animals to hunt. I was under the impression that that distinction went to Cape Buffalo. Nonsense. Cape Buffalo are just glorified cows. Hmm... Let's go with the hypothetical. If you were stranded on a desert island, what piece of music would you most want to have with you? Music? Well, anything by Picasso, of course. Pablo Picasso? Yes, that's the chap. <laughs> the painter? Uh, yes. He was also quite a musician. I wasn't aware. Next. understand that yours is a steadfastly Episcopal lineage. How does your unswerving faith influence your day-to-day -day life? This should be good. Well, you see, faith is... Hmm, how shall I put it? Faith is... Well, simply put, faith... I'm sure plenty of other great men have had keen things to say about faith. Why don't you be a dear and just quote one of them? Smashing idea. How has your approach to running Dumas Industrial Enterprises differed from your late father's? I'm not really sure what approach my father used, but I like to run things strictly by the book. By the book? Yes, you know, according to policy. But whose policies? I'm afraid that information is strictly classified. Next. Classified. Is there a message you'd like to share with your many admirers? Good hunting, my humble devotees. Well, that's all the questions I prepared. I must confess, I'm positive this will be our most popular Perfect Lives installment yet. Oh, you think so? Absolutely. Rarely does nature combine so many excellent qualities in one man. Our readers will be fascinated, and maybe even a bit envious. One can hardly blame them. Quite. What I don't understand is where such a busy man finds the time to be a successful business tycoon, loving husband, daring hunter, astute philosopher, cultivated humorist. 
etc. Aren't you overwhelmed? Well, one learns to delegate. For example, although you wouldn't guess it, I'm only peripherally involved with Dumas Enterprises these days. Strictly in an advisory capacity, you see, to keep the company on track. How ingenious. Oh, well, I have my moments. Uh -huh. Isn't it an awful risk to hand over operations to someone less accomplished in the subtleties of enterprise than yourself? Actually, it's safer that way. Really? Yes, you see, in my experience, the less one knows about running a business, the less he can screw up. I make all the important decisions. The rest is just, you know, paperwork. Still, you wouldn't want your competitors getting their hands on that paperwork. Oh, quite true. But we have a very large safe in which to store it. Oh, tell me more Safes about that. Safes can be cracked. It's not a concern. Why not? I'm afraid I'm not at liberty to discuss such matters, even with a young lady as charming as yourself. Thank you for your time, Baron de Maul. It's been an eye-opening experience. I'm happy to oblige. Uh, never turn your back on a worthy cause, I always say. A worthy meal is more like it. I'm sorry. I've have avoid detection, really? Really? I have to talk to the man. Bullet avoidance commendation. Well done, Agent Archer. You may redeem yourself yet. In the meantime, don't get cocky. There's still work to be done. Command will fill you in on the details. Report there immediately. Hear the boss. Is it possible he was putting on an act? I don't think so, sir. I'm fairly confident the man is an imbecile. I heard the tape and I got to agree. Still, it's clear that Dumas Industrial Enterprises is somehow linked to harm. D well, didn't the Baron say that he wasn't really running the show anyway? Who's the vice president of the company? According to our research, his name is Damascus Valentine. D.V. What? His initials, Damascus Valentine, Dmitry Volkov. Coincidence? Seems rather tenuous. But nonetheless intriguing. In any case, we need to know what's in the safe the Baron mentioned to you. It won't be easy, naturally, but it could be the key to this investigation. I'm looking forward to the challenge, sir. That's the spirit. Mr. Smith, what did Intelligence find out about the building? It's a veritable fortress. Not only is there a suspiciously large and well-trained security staff... That we will kill! ...they've also invested heavily in high-tech surveillance equipment, cameras, infrared alarm systems, the works. They must really have something to hide. Our thoughts exactly. So what's the plan? Who is going inside? You are. What? Why her? It's way too dangerous for a woman. Oh, don't start with that again. Before joining Unity... Agent Archer was something of an expert in, um, covert infiltration, one might say. Breaking and entering, others might say. Whatever the case, this assignment calls for stealth and subtlety. You know, a woman's yeah, touch. Yeah, yeah, I know. Subtlety isn't my specialty. I still think it's too dangerous for her to go in alone. Take this. Which is why you'll be providing a distraction for her downstairs. I'm blowing everything I up. I like the sound of that. How do I get inside? Attempting entry on the ground floor would be suicide, even for an expert like Ms. Archer. The only way in is through the roof access. What did you have in mind? Am I going to have to parachute in? Too imprecise. Fortunately, there's an alternative. Dumas Enterprises is erecting a second skyscraper right next to its corporate headquarters. Our surveillance photos suggest that if you can get to the top of the new building, you can use a crane to cross over to the roof of the old one. The surveillance photos suggest that this is possible? It will be close. You'll have a zip cord to cut the difference. I see. Once you're inside the building, you'll need to locate the president's office and find the safe. Photograph anything remotely suspicious. We don't want to tip our hand, so leave everything as you found it. The less they know about our mission, the better. Now then, time is of the essence. Yes, sir. We must away. 
We're back with a little bit more. Welcome to Advanced Field Tactics. I could have done without the welcome. Here we have the Sphinx Series M Code Breaker. Simply attach it to a standard 10 key security pad and it will run through a series of combinations until it breaks the code. The duration of this process is determined by the complexity of the code, so it may be advisable to hide until the procedure is complete. Try out your code breaker on this keypad. Sure. Works as advertised. Add an infrared scanner to your sunglasses to help you circumvent the security systems you're likely to encounter. If you see suspicious looking fixtures like these mounted on a wall, be sure to switch on your scanner lest you announce your presence unintentionally. I'm so bloody bored. I'm bored. I never have any fun. Neither do I. Hmm. Well, I guess next up we'll be having a look While at. It's clear that Dumas Industrial well, Enterprises is somehow involved with harm. It's not entirely certain who the mastermind is. You must infiltrate the company's corporate headquarters building, locate the safe in the president's office, and photograph any relevant documents you find. Agent Goodman will provide a distraction that should draw attention away from you, but you should still expect resistance. Okay, well, that's next up. Da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da